Now that summer is here, you want to do as much eating as you possibly can outdoors. And when you are eating outdoors, there's not much that's better than fried seafood. Joe Riccio is the food editor for Decor Maine magazine and the host of Food Coma. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you again. Uh, good to be here. You know, I, I talked to you uh, a while ago and I said, Joe, what do we want to talk about for our next segment when you drop by? And it didn't take you long. You knew what you wanted to get yeah, to. It's the quintessential Maine food, in my opinion. You know, some people go lobster rolls and all that, but fried seafood with like a a large receptacle of, of tartar sauce <laughs> on the side. I don't think it gets much better than that. You, know? you uh, came up with a list of five places we wanted to sort of get around the state, so let's start with Bay Haven Lobster Pound in Cornish, a rare inland and well inland kind of place for good fried seafood. Yes, uh, and that's why I chose it. I, you know, there's hundreds of great seafood shacks around the state and everybody has a favorite and I know that, but you know, you don't hear about a lot in that part of the state in, in Cornish. And again, it's just the super fresh, Great batter, you know. That's the kind of place you go and get you get like the fisherman's platter. So you you get you can't you don't have to make a decision. You just get the mound of, of everything with the fries. Just like you know, if it's not all beige, they're doing it wrong. You know, it's like maybe a lemon in there. I don't know. But and those fisherman's platters tend to be enormous, yes. which is what you expect when you order one. Uh, let's go down east. Bagaduce Lunch in Penobscot is a place that's been there for a long time. It's got national acclaim. Clearly, one of your favorites. What yeah, do you like about it? Again, I mean, I think all these places it comes down to the quality of the batter and probably how often they change their fry oil. But Bagaduce uh, especially has the, the fish sandwich. Now, normally, I have a problem with sandwiches that the interior, the ingredients of it uh, exceed the size of the bun. Um, but in this case, it's actually delicious. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, an amazing fried haddock sandwich. And also worth mentioning, they do really interesting uh, soft serve flavors, like a like pistachio vanilla swirl and like that. So, you know, save room. Yeah, for dessert. Yeah, follow it up. Estes Lobster House in Harpswell, just uh, south of Brunswick, in a beautiful location out on kind of a spit of land, and you're a, a fan. Right, which as we were saying, all those places out there that are taking an hour to get to by car, but you know, 10 minutes by boat if you happen to have one. Uh, Estes is my favorite uh, view of all of them actually, right on the water. Yes. I mean, I generally, I generally go scallops there just for whatever reason. Um, that's just what I like. But they're consistent across the board, and the, just the sunset, in particular, uh, when you go there, it's, it's like it's a gorgeous place. I've been there many times. You know, you, we talked, to, uh, or you mentioned a moment ago about how places fry. To your way of thinking, what is it that makes for good frying? That's the thing, and it's, it's well, I can tell you what makes for bad frying, which is soggy. When it's almost like you get like it's almost like the, the and it usually happens often with, with scallops, and it's like they're it was almost like they they were wet or something, and. And it'll literally, like, the, the batter is just under, underwards uh, on the bottom is, is soggy, and that just ruins the whole thing. Like, it has to be crispy. Um, and it's interesting, too, now, I never realized until recently, because of the places, I guess, I went growing up, but about the whole crumb versus batter question. Yep. And I guess what I always, the traditional would be crumb. But now there's the batter, which is almost, like, more like, uh, like, I prefer more on, like, onion rings or something. It's like a thick. We'll leave that to personal taste. I know. We'll let our it, viewers yeah. make their own decisions. I think on they that. all should make their own decisions on all of these <laughs> things. Good idea. Uh, two more places: Salty Bay Seafood Takeout in Scarborough. Yes, uh, Salty Bay again. Uh, a little change geographically from say in Estes, you're on the marsh now, yeah. um, which is also gorgeous. Is another place where I've had both the batter and the crumb, both delicious. <laughs> uh, I really like the clams in particular at Salty Bay, uh, and then they also have a little tavern, just like a tiny little bar, kind of off to the side. You can sit at picnic tables or go in the tavern. Uh, to enjoy your food, and it's it's just always consistently delicious. The Pine Point is a lot of competition. Yeah, and let's end with a place that does not have a scenic view, so clearly it gets by on the quality of its food. Bob's Clam Hut in yeah. Kittery. Gotta love Bob and, and Portland now as and well. Portland, yes. Yeah, Bob's Clam Hut. They, uh, it's just one of those things. They've been around forever. The current owner, uh, Michael Langard, had purchased from the original, and then just kept the tradition. Didn't didn't really change it. You know, like the biggest change they've ever made there is they do a different. They do like Bob's. Uh, Bob style fry clams and then Lil's <laughs> who work there forever and one of them has like egg in the batter or something it's like, it's like something so subtle but that was like that any change at all you know so you can get your fry clams two ways I recommend getting a, a variety of, of both both Bob and Lil get the seal of approval yes uh, before we go we should mention you've got a new podcast that you're starting up I do yes the food coma podcast uh, our first episode will be coming out on Monday uh, should be available on iTunes and Spotify but also food, uh, foodcomapodcast.com uh, it 
basically, I have a variety of guests. The first will be Arlen Smith, who owns uh, of, uh, Big Tree Hospitality. Yep. Uh, and we just talk, we take a very mundane topic, like breakfast, and we just branch way out. <laughs> and uh, we, have, we have a lot of uh, really good time with us. So yeah, and I'm working with uh, no end media uh, out of uh, Salem. So anyone who has enjoyed, and uh, you've got a lot of fans, people who have enjoyed Food Coma on video, they're going to want to tune in to the podcast. Yeah, much much less work than video. <laughs> it's a whole lot easier. You stay at home and talk. <laughs> that's, that's all you do. You just talk. Joe Riccio, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And if, again, you want to see that full list of some of Joe's favorite fried seafood places in Maine, we've got that list on our website. Go to newsittermaine.com slash 207. And we're back right after this.